Hello friends, welcome to the channel Tech Hub. In this video I am going to show you how to enable SA authentication in SQL pre-installed instances. Go ahead and let's get started. Once you logged into the server, start the SQL Management Studio with Administrative Privilege. Find the Management Studio in all programs and right click and select Run as Administrator. Then wait for launch the Management Studio. By default, Windows authentication is enabled in SQL Server, therefore we can log in to the server with Administrator account. Click Connect to continue. We have successfully logged in add into the MS SQL Server. First we need change the authentication mode. Navigate to Server and right click then select Properties. In the Properties menu, select the Security tab and change the Server authentication to SQL Server and Windows authentication. Then click OK to save changes. Click OK to acknowledge the requirement to restart SQL Server. Next we need to enable the SA account. Navigate to and expand the security tab, then expand logins tab. Then move to SA account. You can see there is a cross mark on the SA because the account is not enabled. Then select and right click the SA account and select properties. In general tab, enter the password here. Enter the password once again for confirmation. Then move to status tab and select login as enable and click OK to save your changes. We have done all the setting to enable the SA account login. You must restart the server for changes to take effect. So navigate to server and right click and select restart. Then click yes to confirm to restart the server. Server has been restarted. Let's check the SA login. Click connect icon on the top left corner and in the authentication dialog box, select the SQL server authentication. Then enter username as SA and enter the password. Then click connect. You are successfully connected to the SQL server using the SA account.